it's, it, it's, a, it's a thing of joy. And, and you know, Asaluddin, being a member and executive of this Asaluddin, is what all of us always like, you know, pray for. We cannot say because uh, uh, the, the, there is uh, insecurity, or uh, there is this, there is that. All cannot be negativity. We should be able to celebrate and give Almighty Allah the glory that, yes, for keeping us alive, I think Almighty Allah deserves to be, to be praised. So the celebration is nothing but about, you know, the uh, uh, Prophet Ibrahim, Ali Salatu Wasalam. You understand? For him to like make a commitment to Almighty Allah to say, if you give me a child, I am going to sacrifice him for you. And at his age, nobody will believe that. At, at his age, he will even you know bear a child again. And Allah said to him that, okay, I'm going to, I'm going to disappoint you. And Allah disappointed him by giving him Ismail. And after sometimes, you know, Allah reminded him again, but you made promise. I made promise. I fulfilled my own promise of giving you a child. You too, you made promise that you were going to. Sacrifice this child. Oh yeah, sacrifice the child for me. And behold you, me, he did. And when he was about to do that, Allah, Allah, Allah again said, no, I've, your every action shall be judged according to intention. Intention is good. That is why you really want to sacrifice this child for me. Therefore, take this lamb and sacrifice it instead of human being. And it's a more of, you know, telling Almighty Allah, thank you. It's a more of praise to Almighty Allah. And that is why we said, no matter what, if Allah keep you, continue to. Everything is not about money. Everything is not about material things. Have the fear of Almighty Allah. If you do that, Allah on his own will take care of you. Allah will take care of you. So that is the essence of what we are doing today. We are thanking him. We give thanks to Almighty Allah for giving us this day. At least we are able to witness today being eat day. We pray Almighty Allah grant us many more of it in life. Eid uh, Adha is, a, is an Eid where we slaughter ram. And it is because of um, its uh, antecedents, what has been happening in the past. So that's why we slaughter around for it. Today, to Muslims all over the globe, and especially in Nigeria, is demonstration of our obedience to Allah, our submissiveness to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in commemoration of the willingness of Prophet Ibrahim alayhi salatu wasalam to sacrifice his son to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala after having a sound dream. So today is so important that everybody feels submissive to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala by, by observing our salat and also sacrificing an animals to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, La yanalallah luhumuha wa la dimauha Another major significance is that each and every one of us will achieve piety today. That is what the Lord mentioned in the Holy Quran that at the meat, not the meat nor the blood, we reach Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. But the piety in you people is what I cherish most. So, in that regard, sacrificing animals to Allah is a way of demonstration of our piety of our consciousness of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala based on the emphatic sunnah of the Holy Prophet Muhammad traced down to Prophet Ibrahim alayhi salatu wa salam and it is also to foster unity, togetherness and love among Muslims and even non-Muslims and to the generality of mankind. Uh, a lot of our... is for the Muslims around the world is to uphold the spirit of the Eid al-Adha to uphold the sunnah of the Holy Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam of togetherness, of unity, of love. I want to also say that the sharing of the meat should not be limited to Muslims alone. When the, the Sharia says share the meat among the neighbors, among the neighbors are non-Muslims. So non-Muslims should be should also be shared part of the meat to foster love, unity, and togetherness. And we should always emulate the Holy Prophet Muhammad. And we should remain godly rather than being religious at all time. Let's remain godly rather than being religious so that we can keep firm to the principles of uh, Islam and the Sunnah of the Holy Prophet Muhammad to move the world forward. It's come to a promise from Anubi Ibrahim wasalam, who has promised to Almighty Allah that whatever God, whatever he has from God, if God give to him, he's going to use his son to be a sacrifice for God. But at the end of the day, he went for the promise and he wants to go and fulfill his promise to Almighty Allah. 
may be there on my teller in making happy with a very white ram and you come out with happiness to the to, to, to with in, in and his, his man coming back to the house which is i believe that that's what we call ilaya almighty allah said all our prayer whatever we're asking for god may answer accept it we to just follow our husband for his because i believe that that year if it's my mother of ismail he did not follow his husband voice impossible to convince his husband don't mind your daddy but he accepted the god almighty allah and he accepted your husband as what your husband wants to do he follow it i believe all women we should be able to follow our husband and accept whatever our voice to be one together for our children That's Uh, it's a matter of time. You can see not only in Nigeria, it's everywhere, it's the world. The world is not finding it easy now. And on our own, we believe that it's not a matter of time. We will continue to pray. Everything is about prayer. The president that is there, who is the commander in chief, he needs prayer. So we will continue to pray. We should not say because what is happening in the north will not happen. You can see it now. That's why we are saying, what, wherever you are, whatever that is happening, we should be able to pray for ourselves. In the north, Kaduna, you can see what is happening there. If you say because it's happening in Kaduna, because it's not happening in Uyo, therefore, no, Nigeria is one. We should pray for ourselves. And we know it's a matter of time. All these things have come, and by inshallah, the world go. The security situation of this country is in the hands of the government and the citizens. All of us are supposed to support the government, and the government is supposed to put in more effort uh, to grant down all these uh, Boko Haram banditries and everything. At least improve the security architecture of the nation, and at the same time, the police, the army, at least more instruments and equipments for them to be able to execute their job.